In this lesson, I'm going to show you the US Cutter Edition of Vinyl Master Cut for the Titan and regular editions of the software. I will show you where the main tools and features are located and how to install your cutter. When you open the software, the gateway comes up. This lets you view recent documents and open a new document here. This is the designing area of the software and will open with your default page size, which you can switch on or off depending on how you like to work. You can easily adjust the size of the page by clicking on this drop down and selecting a page size from any one of the many options in these lists and continue on to design your artwork here. Along the top edge of the software are all the menus which contain the majority of Vinyl Master's tools. In the first row of tools are regular options like Open and Save, Undo and Redo. This button reveals or hides more advanced tools which I'll show you in more detail in a moment. In the second row are a set of tools which change depending on what is being worked on in the designing area, which leads me to the design tools in this toolbar on the left side of the software which are used to create and lay out your designs. For example, I can easily create an arrow shape by clicking here and drawing out the shape. And you will see in the second row of tools here that all the advanced arrow shape tools have now become available, which I can easily switch on or off depending on how many tools I like to work with. Over on the right side of the software is the Design Center, which includes an Object Selector and Property Inspector, which is used for modifying the objects and their settings. To the right of the Design Center is the Color Bar and many color tools. There is also a collection of commonly used tools which can remain available to you as you work with your designs. When you are finished with these tools, you can simply click here to hide them from view. From the first row of tools, you can click here to see all your recent documents along with a large thumbnail view and the details of each job and select what you wish to work on. When there are multiple documents open in Vinyl Master, you will see these document tabs which allow you to easily switch between documents as you need to. So now I will show you how to send artwork to be cut out by clicking the Send to be Cut button up here. However, you will see that the software has detected that there is no cutter installed, so let's install a cutter now. You simply need to select the make and model of cutter you have connected to your computer. Today I have a US cutter SC25 and will install that cutter first. Now make sure the cutter is plugged into your computer, is switched on and is placed in ready mode. Next click auto detect and follow the instructions in this window that comes up. In this case we need to switch off the cutter and click next and then switch it back on and Vinyl Master will automatically detect the port for us, as you can see here. Next, click on Detect, so we can have the software determine what settings the cutter we have is actually using. This is quite simple using the wizard, which will ask you a series of questions and what the cutter is doing as you go along. Once completed, the cutter is now ready to use with Vinyl Master. Now today I also have a Titan cutter with me, so I'll show you how to set up another cutter from scratch. Simply click Add here in the vinyl spooler and again select the make and model of cutter you have connected to your computer and the driver will be installed for you. Again, we can have Vinyl Master work out how the cutter is connected and what settings it's using. Click Detect here and follow the wizard's instructions and the software will set it all up for you by finding the correct port and what settings to use. Now we can send the artwork we had from before to the cutter we have just installed. To do this, click Send to Cutter up here and the Send to Cut module will open. Next, select the cutter you wish to send the cut files to. In this module there are a number of settings which are covered in other lessons, but for example it is very easy to separate colors in the artwork by clicking Separate by Color and as you can see the red is now a separate cut file from the black. You can set other options such as rotate to save your vinyl, then click spool all to send the cut files to the vinyl spooler to be cut out. Next select the cut file you wish to cut out, which is usually the color of vinyl you have loaded in the cutter and is ready to go. Then click cut now and the cut file will be sent to your vinyl cutter and cut out. And you will find completed cut files are sent to the done queue here. You can then load the next colour and cut this out. 
When you're finished, simply click Done to be returned to the designing area and the original artwork. That is the end of this lesson. Thank you.